Hi, my name is Dave, and today I will be demonstrating how to install a pay range relay harness and a blue key pulse on a 20 pound Dexter washer with a micro switch coin acceptor. The top cover of the machine has been removed to get access to the power supply and coin acceptor. The pay range high voltage power adapter can be connected to any power source between 100 and 240 volts AC. Once a power supply is found, power off the machine. For this machine, the black and white wire coming out of the transformer is the source of the 120 volts to splice into. Very important, please make sure the machine is completely powered off before attempting to do the installation. Use the provided splice connectors to connect the high voltage pay range power adapter to the 120 volt power supply wires. The high voltage pay range power adapter comes with two wires that are not polarity sensitive. So splice either wire to the white wire and the other to the black wire of the 120 volt power supply wires. Please ensure the wires are spliced correctly to ensure proper connections. Next, identify the coin acceptor and reference the pay range install guide to determine how to connect the pay range relay harness to various coin acceptors. For this machine, a micro switch type coin acceptor is used. Notice there are two yellow wires connected to the coin switch. The pay range relay harness comes with three wires, blue, yellow, and white. For this type of coin acceptor, only the blue and yellow wire will be used, so coil the white wire so it's not in the way. Since the pay range relay harness is also not polarity sensitive, splice the blue wire from the pay range relay harness to either of the yellow wires from the coin acceptor. Then splice the yellow wire from the pay range relay harness to the second yellow wire from the coin acceptor. Connect the pay range relay module to the pay range relay harness as well as plug the power supply from the pay range power adapter to the DC jack on the pay range relay module. Plug the blue key pulse device into the opposite end of the pay range relay module. Go ahead and power on the machine and a blue LED light on the blue key device will be on to confirm the pay range device is receiving power. The final step would be to register the pay range device using the pay range app.